What happened to Nicola Bully? The devastating disappearance of Nicola Bully is a tragic mystery. Continue watching to learn about the new timeline of events, police theories and investigations, and hear a forensic expert's controversial opinion on this case. For those of you that don't know, Miss Bully, 45, is a mortgage advisor from Inskip, Lancashire, and she vanished while walking her dog after dropping off her daughters, aged six and nine, at school on Friday, January 27th, 2023. Nicola was last seen in St. Michael's on Wire, Lancashire, at 9.10am. The five foot three mother of two was last spotted walking along a river path with her dog. At the time of her disappearance, Miss Bully was wearing a long black gilet jacket with a hood and had her hair tied in a ponytail. Who is Nicola Bully's partner? Miss Bully's partner, Paul Ansell, is an engineer by trade. The pair have been together for 12 years. He has spoken openly about the hell the family are going through. Her daughters broke down when he had to tell them mummy's lost. Ansel told reporters, my whole focus is my two girls, just staying as strong as I can for them. I'm scared that if I put focus into anything else, it's going to take my focus off that. Just hoping to goodness that anything comes out of the interview yesterday, no matter how tiny. Ansel has described how the family are going through a perpetual hell as they try to locate Miss Bully. An extensive search continues, with many local residents helping to find any more information. Now, let's take a look at the updated timeline of events leading up to Nicola's disappearance. At approximately 8.43am, Nicola walked along the path by the river wire, having dropped her children off at school. At 8.50am, a dog walker saw her walking around the lower field with her dog. At 8.53 a.m., she sent an email to her boss. At 8.57, Nicola sent a text to a friend to book a play date. Many speculate that this shows that Nicola had no intention of disappearing, which suggests that this was either a tragic accident or something more nefarious has happened. At 9.01, she logged into a Teams call. At 9.10, a witness saw her on the upper field walking her dog. At 9.20, Nicola's phone was found on a bench by the river. At 9.30, the team's call ended, but Nicola stayed logged on. And at 9.35, Nicola's mobile phone and Willow were found at a bench by the river by another dog walker. Police working tirelessly to find Nicola on Friday revealed that their main working hypothesis was that she had sadly fallen into the river weir. Police explained they thought the mum may have plunged in while trying to retrieve her dog's tennis ball. Despite this theory, police have also been quoted as saying there is no evidence of a slip or fall. While searching for missing mum Nicola Bully, the police have confirmed that they found no evidence of a slip or fall. Superintendent Sally Riley told the Sunday Times, I think if it had been a sloping bank, a common sense view would be that you would expect to find scuff marks. If it is sheer and you lose your footing, you might not have any marks left on the grass. All of that has been subjected to a detailed search. All of this contradicting information leaves the family and the public with many unanswered questions. Police believe it is unlikely that Nicola was attacked by a third party. Superintendent Riley explained that there is very little possibility that a third party had something to do with Nicola's disappearance. She said when you triangulate all the witnesses, the CCTV, the digital and telephone, the whole picture, it produces such a tiny window for criminal involvement that it becomes highly unlikely. This is a low crime area. It's genuinely a safe, tight-knit area. People look out for each other. A third party involved that we haven't yet had sightings of. We haven't caught on CCTV or dash cam or all of the other things I've mentioned is just not likely. Nicola Bully's family and friends have questioned the police theory that the missing dog walker fell in the river. 
In a Facebook post, Miss Bully's sister, Louise Cunningham, urged people to keep an open mind, as there is no evidence whatsoever that the dog walker fell in the river. Off the back of the latest police media update, please can I add there is no evidence whatsoever that she has gone into the river. It's just a theory, she said. Everyone needs to keep an open mind as not all CCTV and leads have been investigated fully. The police confirmed the case is far from over. Search teams from Lancashire Constabulary are continuing to trawl the River Weir near St Michael's, working on the hypothesis that the missing mother of two from nearby Inskip could have fallen in when she disappeared. Forensic expert shared his controversial thoughts that police missed critical evidence. Peter Folding, an underwater forensic expert, slammed police for not closing down the area where Nicola Bully vanished. He believes that police might have missed critical evidence as they were too quick to assume that there were no suspicious circumstances. He was quoted as saying it should have been sealed off immediately as a potential crime scene. The area is critical. Critical forensics could have been found in that location. I don't know how the police can say there's no evidence of a third party involvement in this disappearance when they haven't actually checked. I think this is a mess, really. He told GB News the amount of searching that's gone on in this river, I would have thought she would have been found by now. Normally, when a person drowns, if they are left a number of days, they don't move very far. This is not a fast tidal river, so I would have expected her to be found by the police divers by now. He said he understands that sonar has been used, but though it can be a high-tech and powerful piece of kit, it's only as good as the equipment or the operator using them. We could have scanned this river with our equipment within the day and seen if there was a body there, the scientist added. It's as clear as that, and you know, none of this rings right to me. My belief is she's not in the river at all. Mr Folding said there are a number of things that don't add up for him forensically, including a phone left on a bench, which he believes could be a decoy. We dealt with a drowning couple years ago where a gentleman went into the river and Ripley, his dog, was screaming by the riverbank when he when we got there. When we arrived, it was howling and literally pointing exactly where he was. He stayed with his owner. Even the clothing feels odd. No one spoke about how deep the water is actually at the bottom of the bank where it went in, Mr Folding added. I've heard rumours it's 18 inches deep at the edge. I mean, the clothing she was wearing was not woolly clothing that absorbs water quickly. He also wondered why no one heard screams and why no marks were left at the scene. This expert opinion opens up a lot of questions about what may have actually happened to Nicola on that fateful day. Police are now examining the data on Nicola Bully's Fitbit in hopes of finding the missing mum. Her friend Emma White said the Fitbit had not been synced since Tuesday. The police are trying other ways to try to get information from it. The police still have no information to give out on the Fitbit. It's been reported that there are different ways on how a Fitbit can be tracked, using its app or third-party tracking apps. It's explained there are ways to use any smartphone's Bluetooth to try to link up with fitness watchers up to 100 feet away. The Express asked Fitbit whether there would be able to help the police with the search for Nicola Bully. A spokesperson responded that, under defined and specifically dis- per- prescribed legal procedures, data may be requested and provided in support of law enforcement requests. Police are also investigating why Nicola put her phone down. Police speculate that Nicola may have put her phone down to deal with a problem, maybe an issue with the dog, which may have led her to fall into the river. However, they do not believe that the dog went in the water because it was found dry. Superintendent Riley said, I'm not aware of a dog ball being retrieved, but it's possible a ball could have rolled down the steep bank close to the water and Miss Bully was bending down to pick it up. What she was wearing could also be a factor. Her clothing was heavy, particular on somebody of slight build and only five foot three inches. We assume the dog didn't get into the river, but we don't know why Nicola may have if she did. 
It's such a strange and perplexing case. Police are asking the public to bring forward any information they might have. Superintendent Riley shared with the public a list of what Nicola Bully was wearing when she went missing. Nicola had a black Engelbert Strauss waist-length coat underneath the gilet that she was wearing, black tight-fitting jeans. She had long green walking socks tucked into her jeans, ankle-length green next wellies, a necklace and a pale blue Fitbit. The officer said it's really important that the public pay heed to those very specific clothing descriptions because factual sightings of those items would be very useful. Anybody with information about where she might be is asked to call 101 quoting log 473 of January 27 or phone 999 for immediate sightings. It is so important that we band together to get information about this case. If anybody watching this video has information that may be useful to the investigation, no matter how small, please do call 101, quoting log 473 of January 27, or phone 999 for immediate sightings. I will be back with an update when further information is revealed about this case. Until then, take care friends.